unfortunately, a few months ago, what we saw was in many ways moving back about eight years ago, when before Silicon Valley Rising was born, when things were just told to the service employees, look, you're out of a job versus mm -hmm. it actually being a conversation and being in relationship with each other. So I'm Maria Noel Fernandez and I'm with uh, Silicon Valley Rising and Working Partnerships. Silicon Valley Rising actually came together because we were seeing that all of the DEI conversations were not including the vast majority of people of color that are on the campuses every day, which are service workers. And, you know, they're there every day and have been. As we're seeing layoffs and we're seeing service workers on the chopping block, you know, when we have to realize that for the most part, it's women of color. That's the conversation that we've really been trying to lift up is that again, if these companies want to live the values that they've been talking about over the last several years, particularly, then they've got to engage even on layoffs in a different way when we're talking about particularly layoffs that are predominantly affecting women of color in the region. And yes, there are some protections on the books, but it is an area where I think we're, we're really needing more leadership from our elected officials and allies to really make sure that workers are protected when they're using their voice and they're trying to organize. Mm -hmm.